Hello, Zap Diabetes. Kristen Steps here again. Um, gonna be a quick one today, but check this out. Oh, it's off. There it is. I have the CGM working on my 670G. It looks like so, because it's mirrored on my side. It looks like I'm 801. That's not the case. I'm 108. It's probably what shows up for you, but. That's kind of funny. Ah! Anyway, so today is... What is today? Today's Monday. It's almost Tuesday. That light is bright. There we go. Um, got these on Thursday, maybe? Wednesday? Um, I met with the Medtronic trainer on Friday, so I actually did that this time, and so that's why I got it working already. Um, that was nice to happen so fast because it took so long to obviously get the sensors. I got the pump back in June or July and didn't get the sensors now until last end of last week, so that's kind of crazy. And I'm going to make a video about that and tell the long story of this process. I know I've kind of talked about it before. But I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth, so that that's coming. Um, probably give a review of what's going on too. Um, but I'm really excited. We all know that's been a sore subject in my videos. I keep wanting to go that way because I don't want to show all this storage that belongs to somebody else. But it's not appealing to the video. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, just wanted to say I finally got it. I'm excited. Um, it seems to be working pretty well so far. I mean, it's, 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 it's fairly accurate. Um, I'll do a blood test real quick. How about that? Let's do, I'll do a finger prick. We'll see how close it is. So in case you haven't seen it yet, this is the new, um, Contour Next bottle since Bear doesn't, um, have it anymore. You can see there's no Bear logo there anymore. It's been removed. And... Let's see, should say somewhere in here, ah, Ascensia Diabetes Care. So there it is. The, uh, they have been updated finally, or the circulation of the updated ones have finally come in. So, all right, I'm going to do a test now. Okay, so here we go. Okay, 137, um, interesting because it says 110, um, that's actually kind of the furthest I've seen it, usually it's about 20, 30 points, um, I've been pretty spot on, there's one time today, I was 157 according to this, and my meter said 154 the other way around. I'm kind of surprised, um, but hey, um, it does sync. I, I bypassed it to show what the sensor was currently saying. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, 137. Would I like to calibrate sensor? Yes. So that's manually calibrating it. Obviously, when it sinks, I could calibrate it that way too. Like I said, I just bypassed it, and then I'll calibrate my uh, my pump here uh, with my uh, sensor. So that's getting the most accurate results. Um, again, that's about the highest difference I've seen. Um, I don't know if any of you uh, that are watching this have these, but let me know what the highest difference you've seen. Most of the time, it's been pretty close, like eerily close. I mean, right now I'd say it's close enough, um, but, um, pretty, I mean, it's still not as close as I've seen it, and usually it's pretty damn close, but this is my first week and I'm still, um, obviously getting used to it, calibrating it, I'm not on auto mode yet, so. Alright, so that's it for now. 
you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, please share, and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you in the next one. See ya.